Hey, hi everyone, welcome again to the Specialized Automations. I am Aditya and today in this video we will be discussing about the cross browser testing using the source lab. So in case if you guys missed my previous video regarding the browser stack environment, you can watch it. The link is given above. Okay. So in this video we will be totally seeing the cross browser and cross platform testing using one of the important in cloud environment source lab. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, what is browser compatibility testing? That is the similar name we can refer as a cross browser testing or browser uh, testing in different platform. So it's basically like testing applications across multiple browsers and also validated across cross platform. Also, we can call it as a cross browser testing or browser compatibility testing. And then what is Source Lab? So Source Lab, it's a cloud-based platform for automated testing of an web and mobile applications. Okay. So we can access the web browsers, mobile emulators, simulators and real mobile devices in the source lab. So we can do our automation in the Selenium API or the APM API and you can perform automation build, run or build. We can integrate with the Eclipse, integrate with the Jenkins, Jira, anything. Okay. So whatever we have done using the browser stack environment in the cloud, we can also do and achieve the same thing using the source lab. Okay. So let's get started with the sample code that I've written for it. So this is a sample test script that I've written. <coughs> uh, the class now that given is a source lab underscore cross browser. Okay. So what the test script basically do that uh, what I've done for browser stack it will do the same thing. Like for if you are going to Facebook pages like this way. Uh, what I'm doing in this test script basically I'm providing some hello like admin admin something. Okay. I'm mean, clicking on the login button. I need to verify this error message is coming or not. Okay, so this is a simple test script that I have uh, done using the source lab uh, environment. Okay, so similar like browser stacks that I have discussed before, we need to use the username and automate key. Unlike browser stack, here we need to provide the access key. Okay, this is same like automate key. So username and access key will get uh, after you register uh, your source lab. So for my case, I mean, after you log into your uh, source lab, register and log into your source lab environment, then you need to go to your uh, my account, then uh, user settings. Under user settings, you will get the username, whatever the username provided. And if you want to access the get the access key, then you have to. This is the access key, okay? So if you want to get the access key, you have to provide the password, okay? So this is the access key you need to provide in your Eclipse, okay? Both this key username can be regenerated. I mean, username will be fixed and the access key can be, you can regenerate your access key, okay? And password, so you can do this, all this kind of user settings operations uh, after registering successfully in the source lab. So initially you will get 100 minutes free uh, for uh, automations built that we can see the current 1.5 hours is remaining, okay? Let me explain you the code step by step. So first I have given the username and access key and the URL the remote web URL I am accessing providing the username this way okay. Username access key and on demand dot source dot com it's accessing the port 443 web driver slash hub okay. And one important thing let me show you the browser setup method what I am doing basically. So here you need to define the whatever you want to do. Mm, like in the browser setup, I have desired, uh, declared the desired capabilities as caps, you need new desired capabilities. At the same way, you need to declare and set all your capabilities. Set capabilities name. This name you, you need to give because if you execute in source lab environment, uh, like I have executed some tests before, so if you don't provide named, you will get this okay, unnamed job. So if you need to provide some valid job name, whatever the script, whatever the test script or automation build you are running, so you need to provide the name. If you provide the name, here I provide X browser uh, in valid login Facebook. So I'm getting the name. Okay, this way. You need to provide the capability platform, and you need to provide the browser name along with the browser versions. And this one specifically, I mean, whether uh, in the source lab environment, we we have a different kind of statuses like uh, pass, fail, running, complete error queue. Okay, so. Once your build has been successfully completed, you will get the complete message. Okay, 
you will get this complete okay this build has successfully completed but if you want to get uh, uh, if you want to show pass fail then you can use this caps dot set capability pass this is a boolean value pass fail pass true or false but one thing guys <coughs> like uh, let me show you there's the wiki source has been given here uh, like pass fail descriptions so for selenium if you are using selenium apm handle sending commands to a control a browser app but does don't report to the server whether it is pass or fail to record pass fail or in source lab set the pass leg on a job so if you are doing as a pass true then it will always pass your it will always show the report as a pass okay so as selenium or apm if you are doing kind of uh, using this uh, selenium or apm automation using source lab those uh, basically don't, uh, doesn't send any report i mean whether that says pass or fail to the server okay so in that case you need to configure it uh, manually i mean you have to write your own code so for each and every method if, if it is successfully passed or not for that i have declared one method like uh, in the tear down method after method basically literally for each and every method you need to provide this way okay so if you test fail then it will provide as a fail if it is pass it will provide as a pass so in the test defer method simply what i have written driver you remote URL driver i'm navigating i'm using the remote web driver and navigating the facebook page implicit timeout has been given this is a before method simply and after method in after method what i'm doing after executing the method executing script source level job result okay just copy this in your in your code okay so i'm checking the i'm actually overriding the test ng it test result that uh, listener interface okay result so for every method i'm checking is the result is success if it is success then i'm printing pass and if it is not it should fail uh, print fail in the report section okay then i'm creating the driver closing the browser and the case that i've told that is pretty much simple what i'm doing sending my user key password and printing the name okay so before uh, run this program using source lab uh, currently i'm using uh, check let's checking with the safari versions one more thing you can choose any any platform any browser let me show you guys for this uh, source lab environment uh, we have uh, different devices lots of devices and lots of browsers you can have more than 500 multiple uh, permutation combinations for browsers devices and platforms for windows 10 you can see the firefox whole list and this is the chrome list and for windows platform 8.1 so all this kind of platform you will get lots of browsers for your uh, test for your for cross browser testing if you want to do you can also have emulators simulators and if you want to have real devices we can have all the real devices listed like for android version ios version all these things have been listed with android version 8 you can also get 7 marshmallow it gadget and everything on the devices you can also do the same kind of automation testing and devices if you are doing pm okay so i'll uh, cover the using source lab for mobile device automation in apm tutorial in my another tutorial okay so for uh, cross platform and cross browser testing you can easily do the so first thing after setting your uh, the um, setting uh, up your dashboard initially we will get the dashboard uh, from the dashboard you can get the manual test uh analytics you will get details okay the all the details let me show you it's taking some time this. okay okay analytics it will show how many cases in pass how many cases in failed okay total build when i've run everything uh, if an error occurred or not uh, so it will show all the analytics of the test kit that i have automation build that i passed or failed okay and manual test if you want to do test your case manually in the browser you can easily do that by doing manual but for my case i'll be doing automating this cases so let me go to the dashboard first we will go to the dashboard then we need to go to the automation build or uh, we can go to the automation test so for automation build you need to provide valid name for the build name providing selenium for slab 2 let me provide it as a 2 okay and this one name provide me cross browser okay and things i want to uh, tell you guys that i'm getting uh, x browser validations uh, this is a success okay uh, this one is a failed is it showing as a failed this one is success okay so this way you will get 
So this way, if it is success, then you will get a success message. And if it is fail, you will get the fail message. And if you mention pass as a true, you will get pass message. Like for uh, example, okay, you will get success message if it is uh, successfully uh, passed. Okay. Or uh, if you don't uh, use uh, this uh, this uh, particular method, uh, is success or not? Then you normally will get completion message that complete. Okay. So those are my previous build, and for each and every build, you can have the relevant screenshot. Just click on that. Okay. Uh, see, for each and every build, it's showing the relevant screenshot. First, it's navigating the sessions, then navigating the URL, get getting title, getting title. Then I'm doing uh, posting some element over there. It's taking the screenshot and the password has been provided successfully. Navigating for each and every step. Okay. And this is the rip this is the error message that I'm getting. Okay, so for each and every step, we will get such a screenshot. Okay, this is a very good feature in uh, Source Lab. Logs you will also get whatever the logs you want as a Selenium logs. You can download these logs uh, and for metadata, all these kind of things you can get whatever that metadata has been used uh, during your test. And watch if you want to use uh, just like for browser stack, if you want to see the see the video, whatever you have done, you can easily see that. Uh, let me show you what are for the past test script that I've done. Okay, so see, it's for Safari, it's simply navigating the Facebook pages, uh, providing the password, clicking on the login button, and this error message is getting printed. Okay, so this way you will also get the video and for different kind of devices for which platform you want to use we have in there is a separate uh, link that for platform configurator okay so this is basically useful if you want to, it will just automatically create your code okay so if you want to suppose for my case i'm checking for uh, safari safari and platform this one now if you want to check for different versions so api is selenium select a device uh, PC if you want to check for Mac or PC so suppose you want to check for PC select operating system suppose this is my operating system Windows 10 okay and browser select a browser suppose MS Edge Chrome Firefox IE which which you are uh, which version you want to use like if, suppose I want to use Chrome so Chrome 53 versions I want to use okay so that the code has been generated okay dot chrome you don't have to provide dot chrome you don't have to provide because i will be providing the name itself let me provide the windows 10 platform this way okay so initially it was platform for os So name has been provided, platform Windows 10 has provided uh, and browser name you have to provide, browser name you will provide this way, browser name mentions Chrome, Chrome. browser version has been provided. Bill name providing Selenium Source Lab 2. Okay, so this one specifically for uh, Chrome, uh, I mean uh, Safari that I have executed already, and I'm going to execute for Chrome. Okay, so Chrome browser version 53, Windows 10 platform, and bill number 7. Uh, this is the Source Lab I'm checking. Okay, let me simplify itself uh, for quick operations. Let me just quote it down as of now. I'm, I'm 
in this case i'm simply providing the password and clicking on the login button okay nothing i'm doing okay and it's simply using this uh, data provider method so this is a sample script let me run it so you can use the platform configurations to auto generate your code and you can directly use that okay okay go to the dashboard let me run this now so slap cross browser this test will run on platform windows 10 and with chrome browser and version 53 bill number and name has been given it's showing trying with admin so we can see that uh, cross browser invalid facebook uh, login facebook it's uh, running on windows 10 platform and chrome version 53 it's showing as running okay this is running an automated build if you see this build selenium source lab is two is running previous build i ran this there was two failed and one error was occurred let me run this build Okay, it's successfully trying with admin. Click on the login button. It's now trying with tester. Click on the login button. And now it's trying with options like developer. That all the thing I mentioned as a very soon. So my case has been successfully passed. In the console, we can also see successfully passed. And in the source lab environment, let's wait for a while so it's showing success okay there's three tests basically the three tests as window test not 10 platform with chrome version 53 it ran successfully and if you check the automation build that build has been successful okay so build showing successful click on the build you can see that build three pass total time one minute 60 second it took okay so click on that particular whichever test script that i've run it's showing success for the sessions see this is the session basically now it's providing the element name providing developer providing password providing password clicking on the login button and getting the next page okay the error message getting this page you can simply watch this as a flash video just like it's recorded the sessions You can maximize this so what it is doing basically it's trying with developer click on the login this is getting displayed okay okay so for each and every operations uh, for your build and you can get the automation built you can get the automated test uh, automated test so in case if you if you want to do filter process you can use this already apply so you only display all the all the um, operation that has been success okay and if you want to see on the failure then see two cases has been failed before earlier and if you want to select all it is simply so everything will be able to see by from these uh, sections and so throughout this uh, source lab we have uh, we have checked and how we can configure our uh, how we can configure source lab to eclipse for selenium we need to provide the username access key and if we need to provide if the if our test script actually passed or not we need to provide this javascript executor that will take care we are executing we will be executing one simple script like job result job result it will it will take from the it, it test listener result from this portion if it is success it will print pass if it is failed then it will print fail okay and you need to provide a build name this way build versions chrome platform all these things to provide a name this is a test script name that will pass otherwise you will get unnamed job okay now this is for single uh, chrome browser okay now suppose you want to use for multiple browser like chrome and different platform for chrome for uh, um, x for chrome or firefox or uh, safari and you want to use windows 10 xp versions and uh, yeah mac platform and all these things you can simply do is to parameterize like uh, what you need to do 
inside the step method you can just provide string platform string uh, browser string version okay so inside all this thing you can provide platform you need to provide platform here okay so you need to provide platform here uh, just a minute browser you will be providing the browser this way and versions whatever the version you want okay sorry okay and you need to use parameterized options like parameter that we know already how to use so that is the i will discuss in the separate video you need to use at the right parameter tag so we need to use at the right parameter inside that you will mention meter just like for what we use for selenium grid uh, in that here you need to provide the platform browser sorry and version okay so uh, platform browser versions this will be parameterized and your grid xml like for this so uh, it's taking some time in the grid xml you can just provide firefox test safari test chrome test whichever version you want and which plat platform you want like windows 10 xp okay so just configure all those things in your uh, xml test and xml and using parameters very easy in test ng that you guys already know i, I hope and so this is how we can execute a test script just like we have done for browser stack we can also execute a test script one of the import one of the famous environment the source lab environment also okay so you can execute cross platform yeah cross browser testing utilizing this way so you can refer my code and you can execute your uh, execute it yourself make sure you are changing the username access key okay for your own account okay so this is pretty much all about source lab and how you can perform a selenium testing in source lab so in case of any questions please do let me know in the below comment sections and if you want to know more about source lab you can refer their documentations for java they have given well documentations okay implementing in for mobile application testing real device and website testing and for rest api okay so that's all for today guys have a good day bye bye